Hey Vox here. Today I want to go over how to juke and spin crazy well in Madden 24 as ball carry moves are the best I've seen them since Madden 18. So here's a little stick work skill and where to use them, when to use them. But we'll be using Bo Jackson. Now he does have jukebox on him and I want to say you don't need jukebox but jukebox is crazy because it literally will make multiple defenders miss on these jukes. Uh, but I'll show you some with, some without there. We got the bus over here. Now also some players have good jukes and spins and it differs by number one rating i believe over 85 and all madden or 90. I think, let's just say safe at 90 juking and you have the tier a moves anything below 90 with like tier b and then I, I don't know where it goes below but basically 90 is the best one um for that to my knowledge now that could have changed year over year but that's what it was in previous years so those are the stats you want to look at and obviously heights and weights do matter for this along with stats but basically there are a few different moves like here's here's right stick juke now do you see how i'm holding down right trigger right here and right stick juking okay so let's do that again and i want to show you these things specifically again this is what i think you shouldn't be doing holding down right stick and juking now it's pretty good but you see how kind of was a little slow now there are going to be two separate jukes that i think you should use every time there's the short juke and the long juke now these both involve so you're sprinting the open field holding that right trigger letting right trigger go and that's when you juke okay so i'm going to show you the short juke first so i'll be sprinting in the open field with the right trigger down and i'll let go and show you the short juke which is literally just flicking the button flicking the button okay so here we go. Here's this short juke, the one that I think you should use against one defender. Let go. Do you see how see how see how much quicker that is? And double juke's dead. Don't don't touch double juke. I, I was I was messing around. Don't do double juke. But do you see how much shorter this juke is than holding down right uh, R2? Come on, Bo. Holding down right true uh, R2 and using the juke button is not a good idea. But letting go and then juking out one guy for this short juke is okay all right so that's the one okay that's the short juke now i'm going to show you the long juke okay here's where if you're going to go against like three four guys if you're going to go against three four guys you're going to want to do the long juke okay let me see if i do i just throw this earlier i don't even know all right here's the long juke let go boom do you see how much further distance i got so what you do there is basically you do both sticks both sticks not holding right r2 not holding r2 so they both sticks. So short juke, one stick. Long juke, both sticks, and hold them down. And you get a lot more space on your jukes. So that way you can basically make your opponents look foolish. Now, Bettist is not. I think Bo is what six foot. Bettist is like five ten or something. Now you'll see his his short juke. His short juke's okay. And obviously he doesn't have jukebox. His long juke. It's okay also, but you want a little bit uh, bigger uh, height for it. Also, a spin move, not that great either. I'll show you I'll show you when to spin here in a second. Here's Bettis' long juke. So you see how it's a little slower? It's still usable, but it's a little bit slower. Maybe it doesn't get as much uh, uh, space in the field uh, without jukebox and everything. So jukebox is crazy. All right, now, when should you spin? When should you spin on the field? Okay. Okay, let's get this out earlier, I guess. Uh, I guess drops just happened this year to our, our um, on running back flats go to bed. All right, so when you're kind of headed this direction, do you see how I'm kind of, okay, so do you see how I'm headed like a three-quarters angle to the sideline? Do you see that? Say you're being pursued at that angle, like this, and they're coming from like right here towards you, like also at an angle. That's my favorite time to spin. So when I'm coming here, so I'm right here, all right, with Bo, and I'm going here, and they're pursuing me, boom. It basically stops you, puts them in a spin cycle, okay? It does trigger animations and actually will out, a, a, animate out players, especially then the higher your, your your spin rating. The higher your spin rating, the better chance you have of getting in the animation. Basically, I use the spin as basically almost like a stop and go. It's nice and quick. I let go of R2 when I'm doing it too. I'll show you, I'll show you what spin does when you're holding it down. All right, so here's R2 being held down spin. Do you see how much slower that is? So whenever I make my moves, see like that? See how quick that is? I let go of R2. Whenever you make your moves, let go of R2. It's so much better this year. Um, it's not always that way, but it is this year in my opinion. So those are jukes and spins and really when to use them. In my opinion, I don't think the truck is good this year. Um, I can maybe show you, but basically the best truck is the air truck, right? 
See how quickly he just like air trucks and it keeps going. It's a good way of like like if they're pursuing you, basically slowing you down so that way they whiff in front of you. But going through people, if you actually make contact with the truck, it really slows you down, right? And so then the pursuit gets you. So that's why the quicker moves, like Bettis doesn't have a good spin like I talked about. The juke, the spin, I feel like are superior because they don't slow you down as much as actually making contact with something and running them over. Even though the running somebody over is a lot more fun, it ain't like it used to be in like, you know, 18 era with insane trucks and jukes and spin and everything. So that's kind of the tutorial. Jukes, spins, trucks, when to use them, um, and uh, good luck out there. Otherwise, like, if you're going against the user, just using your left stick, right? L2, like just just stopping with your left stick too, is often good enough to beat them. You don't need to trigger animations because left stick will keep you going fastest. Left stick will actually have you going faster if you're going against user. But the CPU is not juked out by left stick, right? The CPU does not get fooled like users will be. So that's why jukes and spins are needed for CPU defenders. So if my opponent clicks on, maybe I can try and left stick them, and the other, the moves will work against them. But if the opponent clicks on, you can left stick them. If they let the computer do it, you got to use your spins and jukes. Okay. That's the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, thumbs up, and leave a nice comment because that helps out the algorithm. Bye. Also become a member. Crazy glitch I just put out.